Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Passionate Kelsey, and today I'm going to be making a new tutorial for my lily top. So the first time that I made my lily top was my senior year of high school, I'm pretty sure, and that was 2018. I released my first video tutorial for this top in 2020, um, and in the past five to three years, I have absolutely improved on my crochet techniques, and I actually make my lily top a bit differently than I do in the first tutorial. So I just thought I would make a new tutorial and show you guys how I do it now. So this top is going to look pretty much the same. It's just going to be made better with better techniques and it will fit better as well. So to begin, we are going to be starting with Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton. I have the color Jade Mist here. Next, you're gonna need some scissors. You're going to need a yarn needle. <laughs> And I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook today. This is a Clover Amore hook. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be making a size small because that is the size that I have an order for at the moment. But as usual, the size guide will be in the description as well as typed instructions for each size so that you can follow along with the video. All right, for the size small, the first thing I'm going to do is make a slip knot, put that on my hook, and then I'm going to start with a chain of 12. Okay, after I've done that, I'm going to take my chain and I'm going to turn it sideways and we're actually going to be working into the back hump of these chains. So skip my first one as usual right here and then I'm gonna go into the second spot through the back of the chain. and work a single crochet. So I'm going to continue with my single crochets into the back humps of these chains. I'm gonna go all the way up until I reach the last one. Okay, so I have one chain left. This is what it should be looking like. In my last chain, I'm going to do three single crochets all in the same spot. So I'm gonna go into my last chain. I'm gonna do my first one. I'm gonna do my second one in the same spot. Do my third one in the same spot as well. And as you can see, that is going to kind of work us in a half circle. And at this point, we're gonna be working back down the other side of our beginning chain. Before we move on, if you have never made a triangle cup like this before, I would suggest putting a stitch marker into your middle stitch. So in the last three stitches that we did in this top stitch, I'm just going to put a stitch marker into the one in the middle. So moving on, um, we are going to be single crocheting down the other side of our beginning chain. So we have both loops, so it's pretty much just going to be like going into a regular stitch. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to be crocheting over my first end. All right, so this is what our first row looks like. We started here, we went up to the top, did three in the last stitch, and we went down the other side in a big U shape. So the next row, I'm going to go ahead and turn over my work. I'm gonna start with my single crochets, and I'm going to go all the way up to the marked stitch. If you notice, I did not chain one in between rows. I personally do not chain one in between rows of single crochet, but if you want to chain one, you totally can. Okay, so I made it to my marked stitch. I'm going to take this out. And in the top center stitch, we are going to do another spot of three single crochets in the same spot. So I'm gonna go through that stitch. I'm gonna do three single crochets in the same spot. One, two, and three. Um, if you want to continue marking your center stitch, 
then mark the second stitch in that trio but I, I don't need to do that and it's just gonna be in the way so I'm not going to mark them from here on out. After you've done three in your top center stitch, just continue crocheting down the other side. All right, so that is row two. Every row from here on out is going to be pretty much the same as that. You're just gonna go up, three in the center, down the other side. Up, three in the center, down the other side. So we're gonna repeat that until you have a certain number of rows. I'm making a size small, so I'm gonna do it until I have 10 rows. Whenever we're counting rows on this, make sure you're counting from the center outwards. So I've done two rows so far. So if I count from the center, it's one, two. But if you count all the way across, if I started over here, it would be four. So make sure when you're counting rows, do it from the center outwards. So I'm gonna go do my other eight rows until I have 10 and then I will meet you back there. All right, I'm back and I have done 10 rows. So the next thing I'm going to do is to turn my work and we're going to be doing the double crochet with spaces row. So the first stitch I'm gonna do is called a stacked single crochet. And I'm going to go into the first stitch, make a single crochet just like normal. And then from here, I'm gonna go into this front loop on my single crochet, this one right here. And I'm gonna do another single crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that makes a stacked single crochet just like that. Next, I'm going to chain one. I'm gonna skip one stitch, this one here, and I'm gonna do a double crochet into the next one. Okay, I'm gonna chain one, skip one, do another double crochet. And this is going to repeat until I get to the top of my cup. All right, this is what it should look like. I'm coming towards the top of my cup. I have my three top stitches right here. I'm going to make sure I have a chain one. In the center stitch, I'm gonna do a double crochet. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna do another double crochet right in that same spot to create a little V stitch. So just like that. And then after you've done that in the top, we're gonna continue our pattern of double crochets and chain one spaces all the way down the other side of the cup. So I'm gonna skip one, do a double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, all the way until we get to the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna end my row with a double crochet in the last stitch. After that's done, I'm going to cut off my yarn. I always yarn over and pull it through the last stitch. And then this is what our cup is looking like at the moment. So obviously you're gonna need two of these, so go ahead and make the second one exactly like we made the first one, and then we'll come back and work on the rest of the top. Okay, I just finished my second cup. I'm gonna cut my yarn off again. And from here, we're going to be crocheting the bottom band. I am going to be extending the sides as well, so. You can start with either cup, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that the back of your double crochets are facing you. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a chain for however long I want to extend my sides. I generally do about 10. Um, in this case, for a size small, I'm just gonna do seven. Um, you can make this chain as long or as short as you want. If you don't want to extend your sides at all, you can just go ahead and start right on your cup with a single crochet. But like I said, I am only gonna do seven chains. So from here, I'm gonna pick up my cup with the back of my double crochets facing me. 
And I'm going to start in my first space, which is right here. I'm gonna do a single crochet. Just like that. I'm gonna continue with my single crochets right across the bottom of my cup. Okay, so I crocheted all the way across here. Once I get towards the end um, at the double crochet, I'm just gonna go around the whole double crochet. So I'm just gonna like crochet into the space here. And then for my last stitch, I'm going to go into the top of the double crochet here. Do my single crochet. And that is all the way across the bottom of my first cup. So I'm gonna grab my second cup I'm gonna make sure they're both facing the same direction so the back of my double crochets are towards me. And I'm going to put a double crochet into my first spot, which is this one right here. I'm also gonna make sure that I'm crocheting over this end right here. So I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna go through my next spot, which is here. And this will be pretty much the same, so I'm just gonna crochet all the way across the bottom. Okay, so coming up on the end, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go around the post of this double crochet, and then I'm gonna go into my last stitch, which is the top of that double crochet. And then from here, we need to match the chain number that we did on this side to this side. So for me, I'm gonna chain seven. And that is what the bottom of our cups look like right now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is turn my work. We're gonna do another row of double crochets with chain spaces. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is chain one. And then I'm gonna start my first chain and I'm gonna do a stacked single crochet again. So I'm gonna do a single crochet into the first chain. I'm gonna go through that front loop on my single crochet, this one right here. I'm gonna do another single crochet to create my stacked single. I'm gonna chain one, I'm going to skip my next chain, and then I'm gonna do a double crochet into that third one there. Just like that. So we're gonna continue the pattern. I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna skip one, and I'm gonna double crochet. We're gonna do this all the way along the bottom. So I'm coming to the end of my row and I don't have the exact right number to end on a double crochet and that's okay. I'm just gonna put two double crochets right next to each other at the end of the row. So I did my last one here. I'm gonna skip this stitch. I'm gonna put one here. I only have one stitch left so I'm not gonna chain one. I'm just gonna do another double crochet right next to it in the last stitch. So this is what that row looks like. 
Now we're just gonna be doing a couple rows of single crochet. So I'm gonna flip my top and I'm gonna do a single crochet in every stitch. So every double crochet and every chain one space. Just to make it go fast, I like to um, just go around the entire chain so that you don't have to sit there and fiddle with the chain trying to get it right in that hole there. Just go around the whole thing. Okay, so that is what that row is looking like. I'm just gonna continue doing rows of single crochet. Um, I know that I personally am going to do seven rows total. Um, so I just need to do six more. You can do as many rows as you want or as little rows as you want, depending on how long you want your top to be. Just make sure that it's an odd number. So after I do my seven rows, I will meet you back and we'll continue. Okay, so I have seven rows here. The next thing we're going to do is turn our top. We're going to do another row of the double crochets with chain spaces. So I'm going to start my row with a stacked single crochet. Single crochet, go into our front loop, do another single crochet, and there we have it. I'm going to chain one, skip a stitch, do a double crochet. Chain one, skip stitch, double crochet and that is going to repeat all the way across the bottom. Okay, so that was my last stitch all the way across. From here, we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna do our last row on the bottom band, which is just gonna be a single crochet all the way across until we get to our other corner. Okay, so I made it to my last stitch. What we're gonna do from here is we're going to crochet up our sides all the way up the cups until we get to the top. We're gonna do the straps and basically just go like all the way around until we get back to where we started this row of single crochets. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna turn our top so that we can work up the side. In the last stitch where we did our single crochet, I'm gonna do another single crochet just to help me turn the corner a little bit and then I'm going to a single crochet across the side once I get to my top stitch I'm gonna to put two single crochets in there as well just like we did in this corner so that's one and two and then I'm going to be crocheting across this 
little area right here. So once you get to this corner, you don't really have to do anything special. Just continue with your single crochets on your side of the cup. I have an end here, so I'm gonna be crocheting over that the whole time, but going up the side of the cup, just do a single crochet in every double crochet and every chain space until we get to the very top where we have this two double crochets in the same spot. Just so you know, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm at the very top of my cup and I'm gonna do my last single crochet right into this center space. And then from here, I'm going to start making a chain for my straps. So for the size small, I usually chain 180 for the straps. If you're making a bigger size or if your bottom is longer and you're gonna need more, more strap length to lace it up, you're gonna have to do more than that. But I am going to chain 180 just like I said. So just straight off from this single crochet, I'm going to start a chain. I'm gonna do 180 and then I will come back. Okay, so I've got my strap chained. From here, we're going to be doing slip stitches all the way back down our chain to get back to our top. So, what you're gonna do is skip the first chain, go into the top loop of the second chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull through again. That's a slip stitch. So we're just gonna be doing this all the way back down the chain. This makes the straps a little bit thicker and a little bit more sturdy as well. If you want your straps to be thicker than this, you can go back with a single crochet or a half double crochet instead of the slip stitches. So coming back towards the top, I have one chain left, so I'm gonna slip stitch my last chain. And then I'm also going to be slip stitching into the front of my last single crochet here. So if you see, this is the top of the stitch. I'm gonna go through the middle of the top and also into this front leg here, just like that. I'm gonna do another slip stitch. And that is just to avoid holes so I'm gonna continue I'm gonna put another single crochet into this V stitch and then I will continue with my single crochet border down into the center So coming into the center, we are going to single crochet all the way until our last space. Okay, so I'm gonna put my last single crochet right here. And then in the center, I'm gonna come all the way down here. See where this little hole is right in the middle? I'm gonna do a single crochet there. And then I'm gonna continue in my 
chain space on the other side. So I'm gonna do my next single crochet there. Okay, and then we'll just continue with the single crochets up this side of our cup until we get to the top so we can do our other strap. But this is how the center looks. This is how it looks up close. Okay, so I'm at the top of my second cup. I'm going to do a single crochet into my top space. From here, I'm gonna chain the same number of chains that I did for my other strap. So for me, it's gonna be 180. You might have a different number. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I will come back. After you have finished your chain for your strap, we're just gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna slip stitch all the way back down and then continue our single crochet border. Okay, so I went all the way back down my chain. I'm gonna slip stitch back into the front of this single crochet that we did. And then I'm gonna continue my border with single crochets. I'm gonna put my first single crochet in the space and just continue down the side like normal. We're gonna go all the way down this side, across here, put two single crochets in this corner, and then go all the way down back to where we started. Okay, so I'm right back where we started. I'm going to snip my yarn and leave at least five or six inches to weave in my ends. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this right out and then I'm gonna grab my yarn needle. What we're going to do is we're going to find the first stitch of single crochets, which is this one. I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go under both loops of the top like that I'm gonna go through and then I'm gonna find the last single crochet that we did which is this one and I'm gonna go straight down through the top what that does is it creates a little loop so it looks like our stitches go all the way around with no end and at this point, I'm gonna take my needle, put it through so that it's at the back. I'm gonna flip my work over and I'm going to start weaving in my end. To securely weave in an end, it needs to go in three different directions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down. Next thing I'm gonna do is go right. After I've done that, I'm just gonna like move it down a row so that I can go back left. And you can snip it off there, but just for good measure, I like to run it under a couple extra stitches. and then cut off any remaining yarn that you have left. And we should be done. 
All right, so this is what the front of my top looks like at the moment. We're just gonna lace up the straps really quick. So to do that, I'm gonna start on my left side. I'm gonna take my end, I'm going to cross over to my right side, and I'm just gonna put it in my first space here. After we have that done, I'm going to go back to my left side and put it through my bottom space. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other strap, just opposite. Starting on the right side, we're going to the left side, go through the first space. And then go through the bottom space on the right side. And then from there, you can just tie it in a little bow. And we are officially finished with the revised version of the Lily Top. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. It's definitely better than the first Lily Top tutorial that I put out about two years ago. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to know when I post new videos, you can tap the bell icon. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me in the algorithm. I sell finished tops as well as patterns on my website. That will be in the description down below as well as all of my social media. So you can check that out. Bye.